Hi, and welcome to this gameplay preview of our latest addition, Dryad. She's the healer I know you've all been waiting for. She's tiny, she's cute, and most of all, she's deadly. Her mastery of the horn and prowess in nature magic makes her a force to be reckoned with despite her limited mobility. Now, a quick break before we start with a more in-depth look at Dryad gameplay. Ah, uh, wonderful. Let's run through her abilities now. Her primary attack, Song of Despair, is a long-range, rather quick attack that, because of her varying self-esteem, allows her to run faster when she hits someone. Her secondary ability is Soothing Melody, of course a healing spell that slightly reduces the duration of negative effects. Dryad's third ability is Nature's Aegis, which is an aimable shield that absorbs damage and prevents negative effects from projectiles and melee attacks that hit it head-on. Her fourth ability is Nature's Wonder and creates a circular grove that slightly slows enemies. When the Dryad casts Soothing Melody inside the grove, it pulses with energy and slightly heals all allies inside it. If an enemy gets hit by Dryad's primary attack, Song of Despair, while inside it, the grove explodes and does a massive amount of damage, slows and amplifies further damage on all enemies inside it. Her fifth ability is perhaps the most controversial ability. Suggestive Tune will allow you to control an enemy's movement for a short amount of time. If you need to interrupt the ability, you can do this by pressing the button again. Doing this will incapacitate the enemy for a remainder of the duration. The sixth ability is Nature's Companion. It fires a wisp towards your mouse cursor that does damage to nearby enemies and heals nearby allies. Pressing the button again will pull you towards the wisp and immobilizes enemies around you, allowing you to get away from big mean tanks like Vanguard, for example. Her first EX ability is Leaf Blower, which is a shield that knocks back anyone in melee range that you aim at and reflects projectiles. This ability is extremely effective at preventing pressure, but has a rather long cooldown. The second EX ability is called Purify, and is an area dispel that does damage to enemies and healing to allies, allowing you to perhaps break a stone shield off an enemy or dispel sleep from your allies. Dryad's ultimate ability is called the Wild's Vengeance. After channeling for a split second, she will fly in your desired direction, knocking all enemies away from her and incapacitating them as they land while dealing a large amount of damage. Thank you for watching this gameplay preview, and I hope you'll enjoy Dryad as much as we do.